Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Now, I suffer from a little bit of a problem, and that is eye strain. You can imagine, I look at three 46 inch screens all day, it really, really plays hell on my eyes. Now, I tried getting some glasses, but these little uh, 8 bit novelty glasses from ThinkGeek. Uh, actually probably create more eye strain. But damn, do they look good! So anyways, I contacted Gunner Optics, which they make glasses that reduce eye strain when you're using the computer in fatigue, and they went ahead and sent me over a pair of these guys, the Gunner Advanced Gamewear. Stay focused, play longer, protect your eyes. Sounds good to me. What do you say we see if they work? I can't see anything through these. Alright guys, well here we have the Gunner Advanced Gaming Eyewear. Now these were sent over to me by Gunner when I inquired via email um, about if these would like help with my eyes dealing with these conditions and they sent them over and I thought that was really cool. Thank you Gunner. Um, and pretty much what these are supposed to do is they increase the contrast of the screens basically by filtering out certain types of color and enhancing others. Um, so they wouldn't be good for color accuracy if you were like say photoshopping or something like that. Um, and it helps reduce glare, which is really good because I actually have a lot of glare on these screens um, in, in my office here with all the different lights, lighting sources, especially when I'm filming. So I don't know, I might even wear these sometimes when I'm working with the computer and I'm filming. And improves visual endurance. With me, I sit in front of a computer all day, every day. So anything that can help me to do that without walking away with sand eyes, oh God, where you're just rubbing them, you're just like, God, sand, get out of my eyes, oh God, uh, that'll be awesome. And it says decreases dry eyes, which I have a problem with dry eyes because I have an air conditioner running 24 seven in this room. So the claims that they make on this box say that this should solve all my problems and make my life better. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out. All right, well, we're not gonna use the 3D printed knife for this one because it'll never get into this packaging. First and foremost, Gunner, hey, I love the packaging. It's pretty, you can hang it up. But God, why do you guys use this serrated plastic? You could use this as a weapon. If I got attacked on the street, I could use this to cut a jugular. So anyways, I got my razor blade here. Um, cause that's really the only effective way to open these damn things other than maybe using scissors. Ow, 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 God, I hate that packaging. That's better. That's better packaging right there. So we flip it around. It looks like a little Velcro thing pops open here. Um, they have some more information in some different languages back here. That's cool. All right. Open up the back of the box. It looks like we have the glasses. Right there, it looks like we have a little pouch, uh, one of those soft pouches to put the glasses in and to clean the lenses. Those are nice, those come with most sunglasses. And you get this big, huge fly out thing talking about stuff and things and a limited warranty. Uh, let's see, how long is the warranty? Looks like you get a one, one year warranty on these. Eh, that's pretty good for glasses. And also you can get them with prescription lenses. So if you have a prescription, you can actually get this with a prescription lens. That's really cool. I've got 2015 vision even after looking at these three bad boys for two years. Let's hope that holds out. Okay, so here's the glasses. Let's go ahead and see if we can get them to release from the box. There we have it. It's got like little carb carbon fiber covers on, and it's all metal. The frame on these, these particular ones are all metal. Also, if you haven't figured out from the title of the video, these are specifically the Vapor Onyx. If you look on the inside right here, these are the Vapor Onyx because they make tons of these and it says that the optics are by Zeiss. I didn't know that. So these are Carl Zeiss optics. That's like pretty much the best you can get for a camera. Um, and honestly, I didn't even know they made lenses for glasses. Uh, I noticed they're incredibly lightweight, even though they're metal and that's great. And it looks like it also has an adjustable bridge. So let's go ahead and put them on. Uh, maybe I'll clean them a little first. All right, let's go ahead and put them on. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, it was a little bit different effect than I was expecting. Um, initial impressions after putting them on for the first time is it makes everything seem a lot brighter. It's, it genuinely feels like there's more light in the room right now. Now, of course, there's a yellow, there's a yellow cast to it. So make no mistake, you're not going to want to use this for doing stuff involving color accuracy. Um, but the contrast on everything seems like it was increased quite a bit. It almost looks like when you're in Photoshop and you use like the clarity filter and you know, you kind of get more black and more white, you know, edges and everything. The one thing I do notice though, is looking at my studio light that I have over here, when you put them on, it seems, it's not as hard on your eyes, but it seems brighter, if that makes sense. And uh, there is a slight magnification. I notice when I, when I put them on and take them off, I mean, it's, it's very, very slight, but it's there. You definitely notice that things are bigger. And uh, looking at the screens, I mean, it's, it's a noticeable effect. I mean, it looks like I took my screens and moved them closer to me about an inch. 
but just looking around, uh, I notice when I look at my desk surface down here, the wood, um, I can see the scratches in the surface of the wood a lot better, and that's because it's increased the contrast, so, so the scratches actually stand out a lot worse on my desk. Um, but that's not a big deal. I can, I, I can live with the scratches on my desk. But looking at the screen, uh, it definitely looks like it cuts down a lot of the glare. I can definitely see the, the lights reflecting off of it a lot more without the glasses than with them. But the honest to God truth, guys, is this isn't a product that you can just take out of the box and use for 10 minutes and then give your opinion on. Um, a lot of products are like that. This isn't one of them. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to go use these for one week, and then we're going to come back and finish this video. For you guys, it'll be like a couple of seconds, so don't worry. All right, guys. Well, I've had a chance to use these for about a week now. I've been taking them to work with me and using them on my setup there, which is a 30-inch 1600P display with two 24 inches and horizontal orientation. I've been using them here at home, too, in the Nerd Cave, where I have three 46-inch displays and I have one 27-inch overhead. And the light's drastically different. At work, I have mostly natural light and fluorescent light coming in the window. And here, I have my compact CFLs and not a lot of light coming in the window because I keep it relatively dark. Now, some things I noticed when I was playing games and things like that were, were these really shine. They're also good for when you're surfing the web, especially on a laptop or a small screen device. The slight magnification they get, these give you is infinitely useful. But I really noticed that when you're gaming, that it, it makes the colors in the game pop a little bit differently. And when, when you see people with camouflage moving against the background in the distance, it's, it's easier to pick them up. Now, I found that these actually worked a lot better in like medium light to low light. Now, when it was a really bright room, I didn't really see that these added much to the experience beyond the magnification. But if you're in the dark, I noticed that it did a lot for keeping your focus on the screen and kind of taking the distractions away from around it. The, the, the sharp colors and the vivid detail on everything really, really pulls you in on that screen. And I really like that. And that coupled with the magnification makes a really nice experience. I also noticed that it does fix the dry eye and fatigue problem. My air conditioner has this little breeze that goes around the room that dries my eyes out over time and it actually gets sandy. My eyes actually get to where it's noticeably hard to blink sometimes. Now, people that have worn glasses probably aren't going to notice any difference because this is more an effect of having something cover your eyes, but I definitely do notice that over time, my eyes don't dry out like they were before, having that constant air conditioner running. So that was a huge plus and that alone is a reason enough for me to keep these. Another really important thing is I thought these were going to interfere with headphones, especially headphones that need to form a good seal over your ears. They actually don't because these are so flat, the little things run alongside your head, they don't interfere with the headphones at all. And I found that when I put the headphones on, there was no interference whatsoever, and that was awesome. Now, these are incredibly lightweight, and they're comfortable to wear for prolonged periods of time. So I honestly forget they're on after a while, especially if I have the lights out, and I don't have the contrast, or I don't have the colors of the walls to, to remind me that they're on when I'm just looking at the screen. I just become very, very used to it, and, and sometimes I get up, and I don't realize I have them on until I'm out of my chair, and I'm already walking out of the room. All right, well, we got the pros out of the way. Now, let's look at some of the cons. Now, the con, my number one con with these was that I can see the edge of the lens, out of my peripheral vision. Now, when I'm looking at the screen and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter because the screen stays within the width of the lens. But just the fact that I can see with my peripheral vision, I can see the frame up here, and I can see the lens below, puts me off a little. Now, I don't wear eyeglasses, and I've never really worn eyeglasses, so this isn't something that's come up. But I think if I was gonna buy another pair of these, I would go with bigger lenses, and that would solve the problem. Because these actually look really nice, but having such small lenses like this does present a little bit of a problem for me. But honestly, that's just a style choice. I could get a bigger lens version of these and I wouldn't have that problem. Now, the other problem I noticed is the glass does pick up some interesting reflections. Depending on the light, like right now I have two intense compact fluorescent lights coming down at an angle at me. I can actually see the reflection of my eyeballs in the glass, if that makes sense. I can see like it's very, very faint and if you ignore it, it, it just goes away, you don't see it, but if, but if you consciously like focus at it in the right light or turn your head, you'll notice the motion, you can see your eyeballs in the lens. Now, I don't see that as being a problem when you're playing in low light or dark, but if you're in a really bright environment and you have bright overhead lights, that might be something that annoys you a little bit. But to be honest, I didn't find these all that useful when you were in a very, very bright room. I found them to be 
infinitely better when you were in like a medium lit room with like lamps, like desk lamps and stuff like that, or in a dark room with everything off and your only light source being the screen. Now those are the only real cons that I found. The other one that I wouldn't really consider a con is you do have to keep them very, very clean. I was cleaning them all the time because I'd touch them or I'd set them on my desk and they'd get some dust on them. Uh, and you want to make sure they're clean because as soon as you put them on and they're not clean, I don't know what it is about the glass, but somehow it picks up everything. If you have a little smudge on it or something, it's like I have sunglasses and I get smudges on them and I put them on and I don't even really notice the smudge. With these, you really notice that smudge a lot. Well guys, that's my review of the Vapor Onyx by Gunner Optics and I think these are actually really, really cool. I can see why a lot of gamers enjoy them. Um, if you're hardcore and you want to sit in front of the computer for 8 or 12 hours, these are going to be a huge benefit to you, especially if you're in a medium to low light environment. I would like to try a clear pair of these. I know that they actually do clear gunners, and I would absolutely like to try those because I do like the contrast bump, but honestly, it's that slight magnification that I think overall really, really made me like these. Well, guys, if you have your own gunner optics, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of yours. Let me know what you think of this review. Go ahead and give me a like or a dislike, depending on which way you thought this video went. I like the gunners. I think I'm going to try to get a hold of a clear pair. I don't know if I'll do a review or not, so just leave down in the comments if you want me to do a review if I do get a hold of a clear pair. But for now, I'd have to say I actually do really enjoy these, and I am going to continue using them, especially at work, because when I have to spend hours and hours and hours in Visual Studio, especially Visual Studio 2013 with the black theme, <laughs> these make a huge difference. I know they're designed more for gamers, but I would actually sign off and say that these are a good investment for developers also. All right, guys, you take it easy, and until next time. My, what big eyes you have. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.